Hi everyone, Brett from the Urban Grape here. We're going to talk about uh, April's Connoisseur for the Wine Club. Uh, so really thrilled with this one, um, doing a focus on Pinot Noir and all of its little mutations, variations, etc. So we're calling it Pinot in the Park for April. So starting off, we have a white wine here. This is a sparkling white wine from Alsace which interestingly is made with Pinot Blanc, which is actually a mutated form of Pinot Noir, which is always gonna be white skin. So it is Pinot Noir Blanc to be uh, full with the name. So this is lovely, it's champagne style, a little toasty, minerally, crunchy red fruit, gorgeous, uh, and a great way to finish or end any meal. Uh, moving on, we now have an orange style white wine. This is coming out of Slovenia. Uh, this one again made with mostly Pinot Blanc, a little touch of Pinot Grigio and Riesling in there to give it some lift and some aromatics. Uh, but we love this. The family uh, goes back to 1936, currently on their fourth generation. Peter is the winemaker's name, and this is incredible. Quince, golden apple, brown spices. It's great with a picnic or great uh, with any sort of spicy food. Uh, and then moving on to uh, our first of two still reds we're featuring. This is gonna be classic Willamette Valley, Oregon Pinot Noir. Light, delicate, a little earthy, subtle red and blackberry fruit. Really well done, small family estate. And then we're contrasting this very light style with something still light, maybe pushing medium bodied on this one, but a 4R for us. More fruit, more structure. This is from Givry, which is a part of Burgundy, so the homeland of Pinot. And we love this one for its power, but it's for its uh, equal parts grace as well. And that's pretty much April Wine Club for the Connoisseur. You guys enjoy.